Hey, what's up, y'all? Cephist here. Well, we finally did it. Had our first meet, broke through the ice. It's gonna be the first of many. I'm glad I got it out of the way. It was super, super intense and it was very stressful. Um, I only got like four or five hours of sleep the night before. I was working, not, I only, I didn't have to work a lot before. Uh, but my uh, workouts kind of got a little squirrely beforehand, but regardless, all I'm saying is that not necessarily enough planning went into this than could I could have, and it went amazing. <laughs> so I'm happy because next time I'm going to put a lot more planning in, I'm going to get uh, into a better weight class, and uh, I'll be a little more focused, and I'll be a little less nervous because every first attempt I thought I was going to bomb out, but... Uh, I put a lot into this. Uh, my total wasn't necessarily what I wanted it to be, but that's going to be the next. I think uh, my total was only 1476, which obviously is not super good, but it's a good starting point. But the thing I was super proud of and that I wanted to do, and I did, was hit 600 pounds in competition, and I smashed it. Uh, I did have a small sticking point, but I think I have, I'm going to wait a while before I, not a while, but I'm going to wait a minute before I hit uh, maxes, but uh, I think I have 615 in me uh, pretty well to depth, so we'll see. But uh, the first thing I'm going to focus on is I'm going to start going after, I'll see if I can do it, I'm going to try to do the 5x5 uh, five five of 5 plates, the uh, 495 for 5 sets of 5 on squat, uh, that is gonna be a, a hard one <laughs> but uh, I think I got it uh, uh, just gonna work on conditioning uh, 660 is the next squat goal 660 at 220 or under so I want to hit that triple weight body weight squat uh, I'm gonna do it uh, we'll see I eat a lot of so sweets I'm soft right now in terms of body fat I think I have a shot it going down to 198 we'll see and I don't mean by dieting I just literally mean by cutting out sweets that will be the literally the only thing I think I could get down to 205 no problem by doing that we'll see I'll put it into practice I'm not going to like I said I'm not gonna diet I'm not gonna do anything that should affect my strength it's probably gonna take a long time it might take like a year but we'll see I think I might be able to do it but uh, that's more of a side goal uh, the main goal, 660 squat, is kind of going secondary to I need to pull 600 pounds, I need to focus that, I need to start doing more back accessories. This was exactly the fire I needed to find out what all my weaknesses are. And yeah, 600 on deadlift is going to happen soon-ish if I focus, maybe in a couple of months. 400 pound bench is a huge one that I want to hit, but I think that's going to take a lot longer, but we'll see, but I'm going to start focusing hard. I'm going to start focusing hard because I was able to get, I think there was like five people. The guy I lost to is literally one of the top uh, 242s in the nation. His name is Tanner Hurst. It was really awesome to meet him. He is freak strong. He also won the strict curl uh, competition. Uh, I just want to, this is just exactly what I need, needed to, uh, I'm, I'm so excited about my next competition. I'm going to start taking this extra, extra serious and you're going to see a lot coming out of me. Um, 1500 total in competition will be the next goal. Figuring out how to, uh, uh, separate out and ration my energy throughout the day through the uh, uh, meat is an interesting one that was really really hard to figure out I kept spazzing out and wasting energy and getting all freaked out uh, wrapping myself in a big room full of people was interesting because I could tell everybody was watching me I, I unroll my wraps before I wrap myself and everybody was like huh uh, another funny thing for the meat well, wasn't funny I want to do give a shout out to over at Big Text. The judges and the staff were super, super cool. Uh, I was uh, extra, extra nervous and they were helping me out when I needed it. Uh, the one funny thing is when I jumped from 505 to 590, 
the judge was like, man, you shouldn't, that's, that's crazy. You shouldn't do that. And I was like, I know I'm nervous and I look a little soft, but I, this is exactly the structure that I go one plate to six plates. So the jump from five plates to six plates is that 90 pound jump. I'm used to it. Um, and then he understood and then I smashed it. And then I, they got behind me for that 600.7 squat, which was also, I hit a 0.7 pound lifetime PR, but in competition with judges. So I'm super, super proud of that. Um, like I said, this was a, this was an amazing experience. Besides the fact that it was draining and horrifying. Uh, I hate the squat sh or the deadlift shoes that I got. It really hurt my ankle. If you watch the, uh, I mean, I'm fine. It could have hurt my ankle. It just irritated it for about a day. Uh, it's already fine now. But if you look at the back of my heel, the, the sides of the stupid ass shoe are rounded and my heel starts to like, like roll a little bit while I'm finishing the deadlift. And I've never really had that happen before. It was really irritating on my ligaments <laughs> in my, uh, it almost felt like I sprained my ankle a little bit, but uh, I don't have any more swelling and it feels fine. I was able to go for a little run earlier just to move around and get my blood flowing. So yeah. Uh, another thing is that this was most definitely not a tested meet, so it felt good to keep up with guys that are uh, kind of doing the science experiment thing, so uh, yeah. And also, I was probably, I was one of uh, like two, or no, no, just in the men's. I was, a, I was a one of like three or four, uh, uh, 35 and up, uh, or well, I'm 34, I'm about to turn 35 in a month, but then I'll able, be able to uh, cross uh, cross platform on uh, Submasters, which might give me, we'll see how that goes, I'm excited. But now I'm just rambling, but I'm very happy. Uh, it took me a while to build up the courage to talk about this. I've been in hibernation mode, but uh, y'all's support has meant the world to me. And uh, stay tuned, because I'm gonna keep putting out some awesome performances. I think maybe, July might be my next one, but we'll see. We'll see, I might need some more time, but it felt really good to get a medal, and I'm gonna start getting more. Y'all have a good night, stay tuned.